Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, we're gonna look at how to really quickly create an infinity cove. Before I get started, I just wanna say a huge thank you to everybody who subscribes and hits the notification icon. That really helps me out. And a huge thank you to all of my patrons and members. Your names will be running across the screen as we speak. So this is a really, really quick method and I think you're gonna like it. And for those of you who don't know what an infinity cove is, it's a photography backdrop which has no seams in it it's effectively completely um, seamless so a lot of photographers use it in just pure white to give the illusion that there's nothing going on in the background but you can put pretty much whatever you want on the backdrop of this that's the beauty of das studio it doesn't cost you thousands of dollars to change it so let's get started then what we want to do is click on the create new primitive object button which is the one that looks like three shapes squished together and we're going to select a cube we're going to set its size to about five meters i think five meters is a reasonable size for an infinity uh, for an infinity cove and then we're going to set the divisions to three and we hit accept now then we have to zoom out a little bit here like this and we can see our our cube here like this and uh, this is great, five meters by five meters. So what we want to do is select our object in the scene and we're going to go to edit at the top here and then we're going to follow the menu down to object, then to geometry and we're going to convert to sub D. Now we're going to select our geometry editor tool which looks like this checkerboard with a pencil over it and we're going to make sure we've got our cube selected. We're going to right click, change our selection type to polygon selection and our selection mode to drag and then we're going to simply draw over this face we're going to hold down control draw over this face and then move our camera and we're going to draw over this face now what you'll have noticed there and this is something important to remember for dash studio in general is that when you were selecting those faces with the geometry selection tool you were selecting the original geometry and not the subdivided geometry. So even if you've got it subdivided, Daz Studio still only sees the vertices for or the lines or the edges or the faces or whatever you want to refer to them. The original geometry. So that's something important to remember. And that also goes for deformers as well. If you create a surface and you subdivide it a bunch of times and then you try to apply a deformer to it the deformer will apply to the original base mesh not to the subdivided one so you can't create new geometry all you're doing by subdividing a surface is just sort of smoothing it out so now we've got those faces selected we're going to right click geometry editing delete selected polygons and we're going to hit yes so we're 99 percent of the way there all we're going to do now is we're going to change our sub D level for renders to three and our sub D render at level four view to two. And that just smooths it off a little bit like that. Now we're going to go into our surfaces for our cube like this. And we're going to make sure that the base color is white, which it is. And then we're going to also switch the glossy layered weight all the way down to zero so that there's no gloss effect on this and then that's basically it that's your infinity cove set up and ready to go you can now pop your characters in there you can save this as a scene subset or as a prop or whatever you want in order to be able to use this in other scenes so what we could actually do while we're here is i'm going to quickly open up a folder in my content library like this here we go this is the modular project that i was doing in a different video so we're going to hit plus there and we're going to go to save a scene subset and then you'll get a file menu prompt to come up and i'm just going to call this infinity hit save and then you'll get this menu come up and it's just saying do you want to save the scene subset with your cube in it and say accept there we go now if we were to delete this object from our scene we can now drag our object back into the scene or double click on it in the menu and it will pop straight back into our scene and that's all there is to it folks i hope you enjoyed that video let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye